my name is Josephine. I'm a filmmaker and I've been vegan for almost seven years. Um, from 2007 till 2010, I attended the wonderful Friedel Kobelka Film School. There I learned how to work with, um, develop and edit analog film material by myself. And uh, in 2008, I co-founded the Film Co Queen uh, community and do-it-yourself analog film lab in Vienna. And yeah, since then I've created a bunch of uh, short movies uh, shot on Super 8 and Super 16 millimeter film. Yeah, since uh, 2012 I've been uh, vegan and it has been one of the best decisions of my life. My journey with veganism is one of constant education about all the ways that animal exploitation finds its way um, into our ways of production. And uh, sadly, analog uh, film material is no exception to that. It has uh, gelatin in its uh, film emulsion and that is currently uh, sadly true to, for all available film stock. Video cameras aren't really a viable alternative for many artists working with analog film material. Everyone who's had some in-depth experience with working with the material can attest that the process is very different and some artists, especially abstract filmmakers, are specifically focused on exploring the material itself without a camera. Beautiful art has come out of these explorations. I don't want anyone who wants to live a vegan lifestyle and loves cinema, um, analog cinema like myself to feel conflicted in their passions and I'm therefore um, embarking on a mission uh, to create vegan film material. I'm by no means an expert in uh, film emulsion, but my collaborator, filmmaker Esther Orlos is. She wrote two books on the subject and co-founded the Worm Film Lab in Rotterdam. Uh, next week uh, we're going to be at Worm for five days and try to create some vegan film material. The gelatin will be replaced with PVA, polyvinyl alcohol. Um, this isn't ideal because PVA isn't very environmentally friendly. It's a sort of plastic. A fellow vegan filmmaker friend of mine even said, even if Kodak would go into production with it, he wouldn't buy it because of how unsustainable PVA is. Personally, I would. So at least I would know that there would be no animal um, suffering involved in the process of making the material. However, um, the environmental factor does put me off in putting my energy into convincing Kodak to produce a PVA film and instead um, makes me want to search for another solution. Um, yeah, further on, like next week, uh, what we want to do, we, we are going to use PVA, but just so we have like a small prototype to uh, show vegan film is possible and from there on we want to uh, refine it, make it better, find new solutions so the vegan film would be environmentally friendly. Um, next week will be interesting, I can't even say uh, that will succeed. Um, worst case scenario, the film image will be not more of a sort of bubbly structure but even then I think it's worth documenting the process uh, since we can learn from it and the next steps would be to put together a team of experts that can research and experiment in coming up with a solution if you're excited about vegan film if you have any tips uh, for me um, how to make it uh, create it uh, or even know somebody who could be part of this team of experts please let me know in the comments below and if you're interested in the journey of creating vegan film please subscribe to the channel I've put, I will be uh, posting updates here. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Bye.